Hey everyone, right now I'm solo exploring the historic area of Guanajuato, Mexico. And as you can see, this is an incredibly historic and picturesque town. Um, lots of hills, lots of old buildings. But um, I wanted to take a minute to go on a little rant here and just uh, say a few things on my mind about Mexico in general. Uh, Mexico is one of my favorite countries. I've been here plenty of times um, to a few of the border towns, Tijuana, um, and then I've been to uh, Cancun, Cozumel, that area. But the towns and cities that I'm visiting on this trip, Guanajuato, Mexico City, and Guadalajara, never been to before. So I'm excited to visit all those. But as much as I love Mexico, um, it seems like most Americans don't share my love for this incredible country, unfortunately. So it's just unfortunate when I tell people, people that I'm, you know, friends with, family, relatives, you know, people that are close to me, not just strangers, them too, but people that actually know me well. When I tell them that I'm going to Mexico, most people, with the exception of the few people that I know that have been here and that are well-traveled and don't listen to the BS on the news all the time, um, but most people, uh, when I tell them I'm coming here, their first reaction is, oh, oh my God, why are you going to Mexico? Isn't it so dangerous? Oh, no, you don't want to go there. It's not safe. And I just don't know like, where they're getting this info from. Well, I'll correct myself. I do know where they're getting this info from, but I don't know why they're choosing to believe it. Um, you know, of course, Mexico has bad parts, but you want to know the truth? This is what the news doesn't tell you. Mexico has states, just like the US. So the US isn't special. The United States of America is not that special because this is the United States of Mexico here. And that's their real name, Estados Unidos de Mexico. So There's 31 states in Mexico. And four of them, four of them are on the do not travel list or whatever the US calls that, that list where they deem places not safe enough to visit. Four states, and those are four states that aren't very touristy, don't have a lot that you would wanna go see anyways. That's kind of where the crime and a lot of the sketchiness is, uh, is located at. So with that said, when I come to a place as beautiful and picturesque and calm and just and perfect as this, why are people saying don't go there it's not safe <laughs> so you know it's just it's it's one of my pet peeves um i understand why people would say that i guess and, and i know their intentions are good they're looking out for me but i'm sorry it's just an ignorant thing to say um and my reasoning for that is is i live in the united states that's not a very safe country, especially right now with who our president is. I'm not gonna make this a political thing, but you know, the truth is the truth. Whenever I go outside the country, no matter what country I'm in, people always ask me the same things that these people are saying about Mexico. People ask me about the US. Oh, oh, isn't it, is the US safe right now? There's mass shootings all the time. You have a crazy president, you know, making enemies with the rest of the world. You guys, everyone there loves guns. Uh, you like, you know, so people's perception of us is from the, the rest of the world is pretty much the same perception that a lot of Americans have of Mexico. So wherever you go, it seems like the news and the media is just trying to install fear in your head. But um, anyways, as I was saying, there's 31 states in Mexico Four of them are on the do not travel list, meaning 27 of those states, including the one I'm in and the other two I'm going to, are absolutely safe. Of course, anything bad could happen anywhere. I'm not naive. <laughs> but let me put this into perspective for you. Maybe this will help you understand why Mexico is not so bad after all and why you should come here too. Let's use the United States as an example. Let's say out of those 50 states in the US, four of those were on the do not travel list. If we said, okay, the entire United States is okay to visit, you could go to California, New York, Texas, um, Colorado, Washington, wherever you want. But there's this one little area in, we'll say the South, 
Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. Those four states have a lot of crime, have a lot of sketchiness going on. You don't want to go to those four states. And people would say, oh, okay, well, there's a whole lot of the rest of the country to see. We'll just stay away from that area. And this is hypothetical. I'm not saying those four states are sketchy or dangerous. I'm just using it as an example. So how is it when we put it into perspective like that with the U.S., we can't do the same with Mexico? And another thing that really bothers me about when I come to Mexico is in, in relation to people always saying be safe or I don't mind when people say be safe, but when people say, oh, don't go there or why are you going there? And they, they just automatically have this stigma in their head of Mexico, meaning you're going to get your head chopped off or something. I don't know where they get that from. Just fear from the, from the news, it really. But, um, but it's not, it's not, you know, it's not right. Um, but my problem is, as I go to plenty of places in the U.S. that are much more dangerous than anywhere I've ever been in Mexico, for example, whenever I go to Chicago or Detroit or L.A. or St. Louis, Memphis, Atlanta, all of those, Baltimore, um, I mean, the list goes on and on. There are lots of cities in the U.S. with a lot of crime, a lot of murders, a lot of robberies, a, a lot of you know, pickpocketing and, and, you know, everything you can imagine. But when I go to those cities, no one in my family or friends or strangers or anyone, no one ever says when I go to any of those places, oh, what are you going there for? Oh, it's dangerous. You know, you have to be careful there and be safe. No one says anything. I could go to Chicago, which is a city that I absolutely love, but it has a huge crime problem. And nobody ever says, don't go there. It's dangerous. Instead, they say, oh, that sounds nice. Have a good time. I can't wait to see your pictures. So why do they say that about a place like Chicago, but they don't say that about a place like this? Look at this. I am here walking around by myself. And uh, no, my head didn't get chopped off. No one stole my wallet. No one stole my AirPods. You know, no one did anything to me, except you know what people did? They smiled and said, hola, buenos dias. That's all they did. And you know why they did that? Because Mexicans are some of the friendliest people in the entire world. And I've been telling people that everywhere I go, and that's why I keep coming back here. Mexico is a beautiful country. It's full of culture. It's full of history. It's full of beautiful places like this. And it's some of the friendliest people in the world. So I suggest that you stop listening to the bullshit on the news, especially the bullshit that the US news says about this beautiful country. Stop listening to the ugly, ugly, hateful, xenophobic lies that Trump spills out of his orange, disgusting mouth every single day about this country and its people. And come here for yourself, form your own opinion. Your eyes will be opened and realize that Mexico is truly an incredible, incredible country with lots to discover. So I hope you come here and I hope you realize it's not as bad as the media and society make it out to be. And one more thing I wanna say about Mexico, and in relation to the U.S., sure, half the people, maybe less, maybe more, I'm not one of them, but there's a lot of people in the U.S., sadly, that want a wall between our country and this country. And that's just not right, because a lot of those people don't want to admit or don't realize that Mexico is part of the same continent as the U.S., we're all part of America. I know Americans don't like hearing that, but guess what? Mexico is also part of America. And so is Central America, and so is South America, and so is Canada, and so is the Caribbean islands. It's all America. So the United States, we have a lot of family, a lot of brothers and sisters in all of these countries all around us. So instead of hating them, just because they're from a different country, Learn to embrace them because we're all family. So I'll say one last thing. A lot of people in the US, quite frankly, have a lot to learn from the people here in Mexico. These people are hardworking, they're humble, and all they want is to be accepted and have an opportunity. They're not coming to steal your jobs. Really? I mean, that's one of the most ignorant things I've ever heard. And 
if that wall ends up getting built, then as far as I'm concerned, you could leave me here in Mexico on this side of the wall.